We're talking today with Gary Lorman from Fuller Town and Country Properties. And Gary, I like your story a lot because in part, you built your real estate business in working with athletes. That's correct. Tell us how that came about. Well, you know, it was back actually when they started the um, Colorado Rockies, about a year before they started the Rockies. And somebody had asked me to work with John Antonucci, who was the originator of the Colorado Rockies. So I found John a house, and then he asked me to work with the president of the Rockies, who was Steve Earhart. I found him a house, and then, you know, it's like anything. You, you work at it, you build it, and it just built from there. So it was one referral after another, and it continued. Celebrity athletes, tough to work for, easy to work with, what is it? You know, it depends on what sport it is. <laughs> okay. You know, baseball, I'd say, and, and in baseball, it's easy to work with. You know, they're very down to earth, good, you know, just they're, they're present. Right. Yeah. Football, basketball, tougher, well, tougher well, sell. You know, I, I don't want to, you know, insult <laughs> anybody in in basketball or, or whatever. But right. you know, at basketball, I think they tend to be more not present. They're, you mm -hmm. know, they're they're they would rather. I think their their um, agents will do more of the work. And with baseball, with um, some of the hockey players I've worked with, some of the football players I've worked with, they've been more present, more involved with the decision making, and um, so it's been good. I've heard some of the stories that athletes get on the phone and they basically ask you a couple of questions like square footage, beds, bath, what neighborhood, and how many do they have a pool and a garage, and they'll say, I'll take it. Has that ever happened? That hasn't been my experience. No. <laughs> okay, no. Yeah. They, like I say, they are very involved, especially baseball players. And, and that's been the majority of the people I've worked with have been professional baseball players. Over the years, have you seen, though, more and more of this turned over to the agent and now you're only dealing with the agent? The agent usually comes into play after we've found the home, after we've started negotiating a contract, and they'll come in with the financial part of it. What would realtors need to know if they wanted to go after this market? You know, and, and you, I think, have worked with athletes. Yes. You know it's a tough market to break into. It is. There's a, it's a very close-knit bunch of, of men and women, and they, 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 it's a trust factor. Yeah. You know, everybody's trying to get into athletes' pockets. Yeah. And once they trust you, they'll, you know, they'll open up to you, they'll give you anything you want. Mm. But you, to get into that niche, it's tough. And the key word here is niche. You, most realtors could not live in this niche alone. Am I right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Gary, fascinating. Thanks very much for Thank joining you. us. We appreciate Good it. Good talking to you, Dan. Find more real estate videos at BrokerIPTV.com.